Welcome to the Buhay Basket Podcast. My name is Enzo and I got my brothers here with me as usual. I got Viz, I got Jeff, and Julo. What up, fellas? What up, what up? What up? Parang Jordan lang, oh. oh yes, sir. Cheers. Pero yeah. yung kay, ano, yung baso ni Jordan, laging, laging, ano, eh, laging nare-refill, eh. No? Kada cake. Cheers. Vincent, pa iba-iba, eh. <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. Apple cheers. juice lang daw yun. <laughs> Nakaboard shorts si Jordan. Hindi yun na ba pansin lagi siya ng board shorts? Board shorts ba yun? Yung board shorts na kamo. Eh, magsuswimming yun after the interview. Mm, cozy lang siya, no? Cozy, cozy team outfit team lang siya, no? Cozy lang siya. Ah, ah, interview niyo ako sa bahay ko. O, tara. Sige. Um, <laughs> MJ, you wanna change? Swimming muna ako. You wanna ako. change? No, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, so let's talk about episodes 5 and 6. Um, pero sa totoo lang, parang isang mahabang episode lang siya per week. Eh, no? Anyway, um, obviously episode 5 was very emotional. Yung opening title card pa lang, In Loving Memory of Kobe Bryant. Medyo na pa ano ako dun, na pause ko yan. Medyo umiyak ako ng konti. Um, Viz, how, how did it feel seeing Kobe again? How did it feel seeing all that footage? Um, that little Lakers boy. That scene in the locker room. Oh my, the little you Laker boy. Kobe. What do you think about that? Well, di ba, kala mo, naka-move on ka na, di ba? Pero, yun na naman, parang feeling ko, iiyak na naman ako nung nakita ko si Kobe. So, medyo, of course, emotional. Di ba, yung mga hindi natin nakita before, di ba? Na ganun pala yung, yung the way Jordan thought about Kobe nung time na yun. So, nasa isip niya na pala si Kobe, no? All-star game pa lang, parang... I'm gonna take him one on one. I'm gonna make him. Uh, I'm gonna make it a one on one matchup. Parang sinasabi niya, di ba? So parang sobrang interesting nun for me. Na sobrang close pala nila, di ba? Naging close pala sila. Eh. I mean, it's oh. not. Oh, medyo hindi nila pinakita masyado sa the last dance. Pero di ba? May mga articles na how they had dinners together. Tama, tama yung sinabi mo. Eh. Um, they didn't show it sa last dance. Pero I think you shared the article, di ba? Na MJ was kind of guarded towards other players. Very kind of let Kobe in. Exactly. Uh, why do you, why exactly. do you, why do you think MJ was that open to Kobe? Eh, di ba annoying daw si Kobe? Siguro nakita niya kinukulit siya parate pero kasi may may ano naman eh magaling siguro nakita niya si Kobe ah, magaling naman to magaling siguro tong batang to. So parang ganun siguro yung dating. And he saw something special in Kobe. Ang, ano, diba? Diba? At the end of the All-Star game nung nag-appear na sila sabi nga niya kay Kobe, I'll see you down the road. I'll see you down yeah. the road. So, medyo, and oh, diba, as the, medyo impactful yung words na yun. Oh, tapos during the intros, diba? this guy could be the next MJ. So, Julo, mm. they use that tag on a lot of players, pero that never really, that, nev- that tag never really fit. Pero do you think it was warranted for Kobe? Siyempre, sasabihin ko, I think so, eh, no? Pero, I mean, diba, I'm, given the fact na that was his first All-Star game, youngest, all-star starter mm. tapos ano Ever. siya sixth man sixth man sa team niya nung season yeah. na yon mm. in terms of that situation pa lang the, pos- the potential seems endless eh na bata to uh, first all-star niya last year ni Jordan parang alpha omega eh alis ako may papaso mukhang ito nga at saka yung I think uh, di ba sabi nga ni Kobe, nung pumasok siya, isa siya sa mga mababatang player eh. Kasi dati, sila Grand Hill naman, fresh out of college, nag NCAA mm-hmm. pa yan eh. Mm-hmm. Tapos, I think na- nakita ni Jordan yung willingness niya to be good at his, at his craft. Yun nga, I wanted to know about my turnaround, Jay. Gusto kong pa-improve. So, parang hindi siya na-intimidate kay Jordan. I mean, I want to learn from you. So, Doon pa lang that willingness to be great. Makikita mo talaga na karapat dapat siya nga. So gaano gaano katindi yung ano no, yung access ng crew. So isipin mo oh, lahat oh. ng footage na yan. Kita niyo yung sa yung sa umpisa, yung kasama niya si Steve Smith, oh. ginag- <laughs> oh, ginagawa niya Steve. Tapos si Shaq dumaan, tapos si Kobe dumaan lang. Andun lang, hmm. diba? Grabe. Ganun Grabe yung footage. Andun ka din eh, no? Oh, tapos ganun lang sila eh, no? Patik-patik sa puwet. Yung usapan nila sa locker room, bro, yun talaga, yung biglang yun pupunta talaga. si Magic Johnson, bibisita. Oh, Tapos nung nahita niya yung camera, biglang di siya nagmumura bigla. 
Imagine. MF. <laughs> That MF. <laughs> Ang bait talaga ni Magic eh. No? Good guy talaga eh. Oh. Kaya niya hanip eh. Hanip isipin mo nandun ka lang. Surrounded by all those greats. Tapos may camera ka lang. Nagro-roll ka lang. Ang saya nun. Yeah. Another, big, another big point of the documentary was he almost signed with Adidas. In fact, he wanted to go with Adidas. Imagine if that mm. happened. So, yeah, in, our last, in our last podcast, Jeff mentioned the ELO ones. So, if Jordan <laughs> had signed with Adidas, what do you think we would have done? Uh, so, yeah, Jeff, what do you think about that? If he didn't listen to his mom and he went with Adidas? Sa atin, pare, I, I feel like walang impact. We'll still get an Air Jordan shoe. Diba? An Adidas Jordan shoe. Adi Jordan. Pero, Sounds wrong. Ibang iba siguro yung landscape. But I guess the icon of Jordan stays with Jordan, regardless of the brand. I mean, even Dwayne Wade, di ba, carry that brand, kayang-kaya, kahit anong sapatos, di ba? So, uh, kahit anong brand, kayang-kaya. So, I guess it would stay, uh, but ibang iba yung, yung scenery. Babawasan mga hype beast dun sa mga Jordan <laughs> ones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ang ang kolabis, puro Yeezy, Yeezy Jordans, pa. Sobrang best friends sila, siguro, kung ganun. Siya at si Kanye, sobrang best friends. Kung nag Adidas si Jordan. So, they listed all the collabs that Adidas had. So, Beastie Boys, Run DMC, Kanye West, Pharrell. Jordan's still outselling all of those guys. Eh, kasi pati mga bata ngayon, of course, especially after this documentary, yung mga sales na naman ng Jordan shoes and oh, the Jordan man. brand itself, it's gonna soar again, di ba? So, wala. It's only gonna be good Ang for MJ. Yung, no doubt. Yung reveal, yung reveal na sagot dun sa docu is, di ba, parang they would love to have Michael Jordan in their in yeah. their brand, pero hindi nila magawa ng signature shoe. And speaking of shoes, I think one of the biggest reasons that he was his shoe line is so successful is the fact that he cut across all industries. Right? So there's a part in the there was a part in the documentary where they showed Bill Murray, Jerry Seinfeld, all those guys, and they all looked like fanboys to MJ. So I guess this question goes to all you guys. Do you guys ever remember a pop culture figure of that magnitude that cut through industries like that? See. Si Manny Pacquiao, pare. Mm. Feeling ko siya yung ganun eh, na Actually, Filipino galing. going to Vegas. You see the rappers, di ba? Try to take a picture with them. Grabe yung dating eh. I guess that's that's the only example I could think of. Yung players mismo, nagpapapicture ng Manny eh, no? And you know what's, and, and you know what's but, funny, Zodon? Si Manny wants to take a picture with them as well. <laughs> <laughs> di ba? Pag di ba? Ako din ako din. <laughs> Di ba may isang rapper Ako, na lumapit sa kasi. kanina? Tapos hindi alam ni Manny. Tipong 2 chains ata. Hindi ko alam. Kaya okay, namang hindi niya kilala lahat yun. Tapos hindi niya, hindi niya alam na si 2 oh, chains. <laughs> sure? Oh. Ah, okay. Uh, Ako, feeling ko naman, si MJ, di ba? Sa, NB, sa, M, sa NBA itself. Parang, he paved the way for the big money. Gets mo? Yung, yeah. yung shoe deal niya, di ba? The biggest in history nung time na yun. Yung Jordan signature shoe niya, di ba? He got like, what, $250,000 while others were getting a hundred, a hundred. So, di ba, to sa Converse, sama-sama sila doon nila Magic, mm-hmm. nila Dr. J, ang dami nila. Si MJ, di ba, siya lang talaga, he was, he had a signature shoe. So, feeling ko after that, di ba, medyo, he paved the way for other players eh. Yung big money, yung stardom, di ba, yung ha, paano naging global yung game, especially after the Barcelona Olympics. Kasi naalala ko talaga yun eh. That's how uh-huh. I really got started into, uh-huh. di ba, following these these NBA players eh, nung Barcelona Olympics eh. Kasi magnitude the magnitude of yeah. that team. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, prior to that, puro amateurs lang, di ba? Uh-huh. Tapos uh-huh. that was the time na biglang papasok ko ng NBA player kalaban yung iba't ibang bansa. Parang exactly. biglang yung, yung competition... Wow, nag-favor talaga highly sa kanila. Yeah, so, yung mga Luka Doncic, bro, today. Oo, oh, tama. Dahil dun sa, sa stint na yan. Tama, Boy, tama. Oh. Ay, wow, si Tony nun. Binobol team ni MJ sa kanila. I mean, wala siyang kamalay-malay eh. No? Basket lang oh. siya eh. Tapos yung pala may dramang gano'n na, Uy, oh, yeah. grabe I naman thought, yung... Ano, <laughs> I thought things were all good. 
<laughs> sa may uh, <laughs> picking up hat, a full court. Pero yun yeah, it seems like they're it seems like they're building up for a big a big moment, a big Jerry Cross moment in the future episodes. Kasi every chance uh, they get, sprinkle sila. So, parang yun na yun. Pati si Dan Marley, di ba? Pero so, don't be surprised if if walang walang ano walang hero arc si Jerry Cross kasi La, Jordan edited to bro. <laughs> oh nga eh. Pero niya feel ko may big may big antagonist moment siya. Eh. May big Ah, okay okay. okay. Akala ko awesome. akala ko yung single hero arc then, eh. so then, ano pa na downfall talaga. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. parang ang ang excited ako kasi parang talagang binibuild up nila yung content ni MJ sa kanya eh, di ba? So we you know, uh, we reached the point in our film where our hero, our hero nga, he's defeated the Pistons, he defeated the Suns, he's doing everything he can. But we're also slowly seeing his flaws, di ba? Jeff, I know you had something to say about his gambling problem. He doesn't he denies that it was a problem. Pero anong tingin mo doon? To me, I don't think it was a problem. Legit yung sinasabi niya pare, if, he, if it was a problem, it would be he would be starving, di ba? But I think it was a, a hobby for a rich, a very rich guy. He has the right to do that, diba? And I, I, I think you, even ngayon yan, mangyari, it's just normal. Someone gambling in Vegas is normal, probably, and it's it's well kept lang siguro in in within the within the confines of the team. But I'm sure it happens today. At that time, lang kasi talaga inaanap na siya ng butas. Eh. I feel like, de ba? Masaya siyang ginawang mataas, eh. walang flow. Eh. So people were hungry for that flow, and I think that that the, the video or the, the the episode described that well. Uh, people are getting tired; they just want to see something. If you if put you that high, they want to see you fall. Mismo, mismo. Tapos mm-hmm. niya sabi mo nga um, they were looking for flaws, and we saw a worn down MJ, di ba? So this, ano mo sabi mo don sa quote niya na sinabi niya na tipong something along the lines of. You know, if you guys knew what it was like to be MJ, you wouldn't want to be MJ. I don't want to be MJ anymore. What do you think about that moment? Yeah, kasi nga, di ba, the way he lived his life, nasa hotel room siya, by the time he gets out of the, his, his hotel room, grabe na kagad yung attention, di ba? So, nobody wants to live like that. Nobody wants to live under a microscope like that. Maybe that's yun yung sinasabi niya, di ba, na hindi madali being me. I mean, I'm a good basketball player, but what comes with it, yun yung hassle, di ba? Yung fame, yung... Di ba nga, yun nga, sabi ni Jeff, hinahanapan na lang siya ng buta, na gambling ano siya, addict siya, whatever. Eh, approved naman ng airpads niya. Di ba? Approved ng coach niya. Family bonding naman nila yun. So, kaya ano natin. Lastly, let's talk about Barkley. Okay, so, Barkley is another legend that didn't get a ring. And he was very candid about it. And sabi niya, you know, if you're gonna lose... You might as well lose to MJ. Julo, do you remember how hmm. good Barkley was? Peak Barkley? For his height, no? For his height and then him being a rebounding machine, double-double consistent. That was an MVP season. Good, solid, complementary players. Dan Marley. Nandiyan rin si, ano, di ba? Danny Ainge. So, parang, yun na yung time niya talaga manalo, eh. I guess, wala, eh. Gan- I mean, ang rami naging biktima ni Jordan, eh. <laughs> at Ewing, wala, ganun talaga. I mean, if you, sabi nga ni Paul Pierce, di ba, na yung window of opportunity lang is nung nawala siya. <laughs> nung repeat the two, three repeat. So lahat sila parang, it's hard, it's hard to face a, a guy like Michael Jordan talaga. I, I think the consolation there is that you've tried your best against him. Yun na lang. And, so we have about four more episodes to go. Honestly, I wish we had a hundred more episodes. It's, it's something to look forward to on Mondays. What do you guys think we'll see in the remaining four episodes? Medyo kinakabahan na ako dun sa episode na he's, he's gonna lose his father. No? Baka, baka, oh, yun. Parang baka, yun na yung next emotional, day. Emotional, ano yun eh. Parang, ewan ko, papakita ba nila yun? And well, anyway, sure. yeah. medyo yeah. revelation yun. yun for me. Oo, oh, diba? How he felt. I mean, medyo vague yun for us nung time na yun dahil mga bata pa tayo eh. nung last episode di ba nag-end siya na tipong yung gambling problem na niya nanalo na siya parang nagawa na niya lahat gusto niya mag-retire eh that Pili was the next episode time na eh. di ba oo oh, feeling ko next episode di ba yung yung dad niya yung nagsilbing PR guy niya eh oh, yung yeah. pag-usapan oh. sa media <clears throat> exactly so and it happened during that struggle in his life that yung hmm. yung yung malaking issue on his gambling so 
I yeah, it's gonna be uh, a sad deal. Right, thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for watching. Once again, um, this is Enzo. I got Jeff, Viz, and Jula with me. Uh, this is the Boy Basket Podcast. Um, if you guys have any requests for topics, I know you guys liked our '90s episode. You liked our Grant Hill and Penny episode. If you guys want to see more of those, let us know. Um, check us out: YouTube.com/slash Boy Basket PH. Peace.